Hey, this is Chris from BattleRob.com. Battle of the Bay 7, Day 1, Joe Cutter, main eventer. Uh, how do you think it went? I think it went excellent, man. Um, I totally thought PH was going to be an absolute asshole due to the minimal uh, contact we've had over a four-year span. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I was really honored to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I'm not really one to, you know, say, I won, he won. But, you know, my general aim is to make a classic match with, with replay value, and I think we both uh, handled that on both sides yeah. of things. It felt like a, it was a nice light tone to it. It was a, f a fun battle yeah. after a, a night of fairly fun battles. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I made it, you know, a lot of people know me as, you know, um, doing jokes and shit, and um, I, I consider myself a, a well-rounded MC. Um, very knowledgeable about all types of music. I can totally be one of those like pseudo pop culture experts you mm. see on like one of the stupid VH1 TV shows, you know. But uh, yeah, man, P PH was dope, and, and I felt we both held our own. And uh, yeah, I expect Maiden Page greatness. Yeah, I, I, it sounded like uh, Lush introduced it as a, a main page battle. Yeah, definitely. Definitely for sharks and mm. turtley, even. <laughs> Uh, he had you dead to rights with the Frank Zappa comparison, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was one of the more obvious things. I'm a huge fucking Frank Zappa fan, mm. so that, that does nothing but titillate me. Right. And I'm glad he, he went there. Um, which, which era of Zappa is your favorite? I mean, when he was on his deathbed and you got all those awesome interviews from him mm. and... Um, God damn it, um, uh, Jarva, uh, Harva, Jarva, Jarva is one of my favorite. Uh, is it Harva? Oh Jarva, oh Jarva. Um, it's it's about it, it's a song about um, Frank Zappa trying to get with this lady and his goddamn and her parents just hate his fucking guts. Mm. But um, if anyone ahead of their time uh, like Frank has been an influence to me. I gather more influence off old rock music and stuff you would find in my parents. Uh, vinyl collection more than I would gravitate towards a lot of hip hop, mm. and if it is hip hop, it's a total bias approach of me uh, just catering to people I know or um, you know just older like Def Jux stuff. Yeah. Like uh, uh, PH kind of got my number tonight. He was you know mentioning a lot of the artists that I like. I, I guess Aesop. I'm not my I'm not the biggest fan, but mm. but he was in the same vein of just like you know the people that go against the grain of rhyme patterns. I grew up on Doom and. Cool Keith is right. basically the jocks, L yeah LP, you know yeah. just anyone who would go against a traditional one-two flow pattern mm. you know and do different shit I would love to bring that kind of aspect fully to, to battle rap but it's just right. not ready for that that's it and I because I grew up on that kind of music as well and it's um, it's a breath of fresh air to have a guy like you in the scene um, who gets those Frank Zappa references and yeah. and all that stuff um, king king of the mm. obscure referencing yeah and um, you know, I, I consider myself an alternative MC, and I think that's starting to come full circle again. You know, I, I'd clump myself in the same category as a, a Carter Deems, mm. or maybe even a, an Ogmios, or just anyone just looking at the format and respecting it, but but telling themselves like, I'm going to do the exact opposite of that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a really um, deconstructive approach to, to battle. <laughs> I couldn't do it without my my WAP brethren here. Yeah. Ooh no. What's up with it, man? It was a fucking great day one. Battle, <laughs> battle the, <laughs> battle the Bay Seven, man. Uh, siete, day one. Uh, people really put on, exceeded expectations. The Joe Cutter versus PH battle. Just for clarification, is not even a GZ. You know, it's like it's a main page from its inception. But um, you know, GZ had some crazy looks today. Shout out to Gully TK and the and the whole GZ squad because um. You know, incredible really arrived. He's been battling for years, but that's a it's a breakthrough performance. The kid Psychosis had a breakthrough performance. Like you know, there's a lot of man. I mean, AM and Two Face got busy too. Like there, there's definitely not a shortage of great performances. BattleRap.com. Thank you for being the the first cats here. You know what I'm saying? The forefront. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the media knows that I'm an Italian, so I'm media all day out of this world. Like I'm media. Bang. Yeah, big shouts to BattleRap.com. Bang. The yeah. Only media outlet that fucks with me because I'm mm. so weird for these other wow. drivey cats. I mean, oh, shouts to KOTD Media. They fuck with me all day. Mm. But, uh, all right. And uh, what's, best, what's next for you? What's next? I got a um, two-on-two with Carter Deems coming up. Nice. And um, 
Yeah, I could basically retire after that. <laughs> um, I got some. Uh, With don't flop, you know, coming in into American waters, it's a it's another good kind of path know, for I guys do, like yeah, you. Yeah, I've been talking to Sonny. You know, I've been going back and forth with Er for a while, but um, you know, he, he doesn't exactly want to pay uh, a two thousand dollar goddamn trip, which is right. completely understandable. Yeah. And um, it's a it's a loose end, I consider it. So now with them them here on American soil, I've been talking to Sonny Bam, and yeah. it's definitely one of my goals this year you and prob i mean prob doesn't hasn't battled it with them for a while but yeah actually mm -hmm. um i've been you know talking with prob back and forth about doing a project for a minute mm -hmm. uh, him and jackie are actually going to be here in san francisco pretty soon okay. I'm, I'm going to show them what hate streets all about and cool. all that stuff yeah. um i got a uh, battle with diggy splash in uh, no coast i'm finally doing that That's nice yeah um you guys know my aim man i, yeah. I want to fucking battle weirdos you know i'm not looking mm -hmm. at any people like oh i need fucking mind-blowing chino xl lyrics to battle you know I want to make weird shit that makes you question this shit. I want your faith to be shooken up mm -hmm. in this fucking subculture. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and the Laughing Stock might have a battle, a concept, mm -hmm. a concept battle of mm -hmm. sorts, if you will. But uh, just the same shit I've been doing, a lot of weird shit, trying to against the, go against the grain and fucking deconstruct what you think battle rap is. Mm. Right on. Shouts to Eric Andre and all the porn stars that talk to me on Twitter. <laughs> ah, BattleRap.com, Joe Cutter.